<laughs> oh no, I don't want YouTube to know I like Justin Bieber, but I really want to listen to that song. Alright, hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you didn't think there were productivity tips for watching YouTube videos, you'd be wrong. Because the seven tips I'm about to share today are designed to help you become more intentional about the time you spend on this video platform. YouTube productivity tip number one, use incognito mode to watch your guilty pleasures without affecting your regular YouTube recommendations. You can turn on incognito mode in any browser by using the shortcut command shift N. And on Chrome specifically, you can type YouTube and then tab in the address bar to search on YouTube platform directly. Embarrassing questions. YouTube also recently added the option to go incognito mode on the mobile app as well. All you have to do is press your profile icon, turn on incognito mode, watch the latest Blackpink music video, admit to no one you enjoy their music, then turn off incognito mode in the exact same place. Tip number two, if you forgot to use incognito mode, no problem. You can get rid of the evidence and future recommendations by going to any video in your home feed, pressing the three dots below it and choosing not interested or don't recommend this channel altogether. This might sound like a very small thing, but this one tweak has improved my product Activity drastically because it's helped me become more intentional about which YouTube videos to watch. With this combination of incognito mode and selecting not interested, YouTube now recommends me less sticky content, meaning I'm less likely to binge watch video clips from the office for hours on end. That's a really big decision. I know. Maybe you should wait. YouTube productivity tip number three is to insert free audio clips provided by YouTube into your presentations for work or for school. So let's say you have a Google Slides presentation prepared and you wanna play welcome music for the first three to five minutes while people dial in or walk into the room. Yes, you can choose to open up Spotify or even loop a YouTube video uh, in the background, but this is actually not very professional since you have to stop or turn off whatever application you're using before the actual presentation can begin. What you should do instead is go to your YouTube studio that can be found under your profile icon right here. Everyone has one. And within YouTube studio, go down to the audio library, search for a musical track that matches the mood that you're trying to you know, give off, let's say happy. And then you can download any of these tracks immediately. And after you've uploaded that song into your Google Drive, you can go back to your presentation, select the slide you want the music to start playing at, click insert audio, select the clip you just uploaded, and you can now uh, change it to start playing automatically, perhaps turn down the volume a little bit, hide icon when presenting, and loop audio. And now when you go into presentation mode, the music will start playing automatically. And once you go to the next slide, it stops immediately as well. Feel free to check out my Google Drive and slides video after this one. I'll link those down below. And while you're down there, a gentle tap on the like button will be mucho appreciated. Tip number four for being more productive on YouTube is all about the keyboard shortcuts. Here are the ones I use every single day listed in order of productiveness. Number one, M for mute. We've all been there, we've all opened up a YouTube video in a public place without making sure our speakers were turned off. So pressing M to mute is a few milliseconds faster than clicking to pause. So this might save you from some potential embarrassment. Second, F for full screen and T for theater mode. This is gonna sound so silly, but you know when you're eating and you don't wanna get your mouse dirty? This way you can actually use like your knuckle to like press and change the viewing angle. Um, or you can press spacebar as well to play and pause and the right and left arrow keys to skip forwards and backwards. And all this without you having to click your mice, mouse and getting it dirty. That sounds weird. Third, shift and period to speed up the video and shift and comma to slow it back down. I usually watch all educational type videos at 1.5 times speed and all entertainment or cinematic type videos at 1x to get that full experience. Pro tip, if you want even more granular control, you can actually go to settings and go to playback speed, custom, 
and you can now choose to change the speed at 0.05 increments. So these are the shortcuts I use every single day. And if you want to know the full range of possibilities, you can actually go to your profile icon and click on keyboard shortcuts to view the entire uh, YouTube keyboard shortcut cheat sheet. YouTube tip number five using the find function with the transcript feature. So I watched this Think Media video on changing white balance settings on a camera a few months ago, and there's a power tip they shared that I want to listen to again, but I don't wanna waste another five minutes of my life. So I click the three dots down here and click open transcript. I press Command F to bring up the find function, and I type in power tip because I remember he says those exact words. It finds those exact words, and by press this row right here, the video jumps to that specific moment in the video, saving me a bunch of time. As you can see, this transcript and find combination is very powerful when it comes to how-to or tutorial type videos, where generally the full video is very long, and you just want to reference a small portion of it. YouTube productivity tip number six is another time saver, and that is to hyperlink the video URL at a specific time. As many of you know, I'm a product marketer so I'll also keep an eye out for well put together marketing campaigns. And recently Google had their Google Marketing Live event on YouTube and I thought the production value was pretty amazing. I wanted to share a specific scene from this hour long event uh, with my team member because I want to replicate this exact background look and feel in my next event. So I would just right click, copy video URL at current time, and hyperlink that directly in this email by pressing Command K, paste, and enter. This is much more efficient than me having to like paste the entire link out and then tell them exactly, hey, I'm talking about that scene at like 17 minute and 08 second mark. Last but not least is productivity tip number seven, and that is to perform a targeted search within a channel. Sticking with the Google Ads YouTube channel, let's say you're a digital marketer looking to learn more about the display campaign feature under the Google Ads umbrella product. You can click the magnifying glass within the channel itself, type in display, enter, and this will return all the videos related to display ads that has been published by this channel. As you can imagine, this is pretty useful if you come across larger educational type channels that make videos around different categories. For example, I subscribe to Gerald Undone. Uh, this is a channel that makes in-depth camera gear videos. So if I wanted to find all his videos uh, about Canon cameras, I just type in Canon and it'll return all the camera, uh, Canon camera videos. Uh, Sony for all the Sony videos, Panasonic, uh, so on and so forth. Please let me know down in the comments which one of these tips you're most likely to use, I guess starting literally right now, and check out this playlist for more productivity tips. See you on the next video, and in the meantime, have a great one.